Well, it's officially cold season. It is flu season, and it's also stomach flu, also known as viral gastroenteritis season. But wow. that's, that doesn't. Is that your very campaign well. speech? No, that's oh, the reason okay. no one Sounds uses like that is because okay. it doesn't. Right. Nobody says that. <laughs> so how do you tell the difference between these three common winter illnesses? Here to test our knowledge is game show host, and also a doctor. <laughs> our medical expert here at Nine News, Camilla Sasson. It's good to see you. Have you ever been a game show host before? Uh, no, this is my first time, so we'll see how Feeling it goes, the right? Yeah, <laughs> there is a prize at the end. I'm going to okay. tell you all that. So we're, we have some good questions here. So there can be multiple answers. So it's either the flu, stomach flu, or a cold are flu, your potential answers. Flu, cold. Or true and false. Or all true right. or yeah. false. All right, okay. you ready? So we have a whiteboard. Which, yeah, okay. so you're going to have to actually tell me your answer here. So symptoms come on gradually over the course of one to three days. Which of those illnesses potentially could that happen with? I'm going to say the flu and the cold. Me too. Wrong. And, no. And wait, I wasn't <laughs> done. Okay. <laughs> Close though. So actually, I was all right in yeah, so interestingly enough, so the stomach flu and a cold are the ones that are more likely to be gradual on onset. So, but a flu, very abrupt onset, you're going to have it right away. So, okay, we're, oh, we're really? zero for one right okay. now. So, all right, we, we didn't write wrong. our answer. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's, tr let, let's try this. The stomach flu is commonly caused by the flu virus. True or false? Oh. Um, false. 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 I meant false. That is false. No. Yes. yes. There we go. Okay. Good. So it is right. not. So most commonly, the stomach flu is actually caused by things like norovirus. Is probably the one that we've heard of the most. So the flu virus is actually the influenza virus, and that's what causes the flu. Though there are a few different types of strains that can be found in your flu shot. Okay. Um, all right. So you can have gastrointestinal symptoms like nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, commonly with this illness. <sighs> Okay. Or these illnesses. I'm going to give you a I hint. abbreviated stomach flu. Stomach flu. I went with all. Okay, so it's actually the stomach flu and the flu can both give you except a Except one. Yeah, except for, <laughs> except for the cold one. I'll take Paul so, in the block. Okay, we're getting closer. We're okay, getting better, we're getting closer. So, yeah, okay. Right. okay. So some, you feel like you got hit by a semi truck Oof. and you've got body aches, fevers, chills. Oh, I know this. I know this for what sure. What do you have? Uh, flu. Flu. Uh, are you trying to write the flu? I had been hit by a by truck. By a truck, yes. It's then a... you. <laughs> <laughs> so the answer is flu, Kim. Yes, I'm not sure what you're answering. I was faster than you. Well, mine had five Tom. letters. Okay. <laughs> All right. So <laughs> hand sanitizer kills these viruses. Of um, the... It kills these viruses. Mm-hmm. I'm uh, saying so false. the flu. Is this, I'm just going to say cold. Okay, so yeah. Oh, so oh, which of you these mean, viruses? I thought it was true or false. We don't false. even get yeah, the questions. How are we going to get the answers? <laughs> I, yes, no, I say no. All right, false. so it is false. So there are some viruses that are actually part of the hand sanitizer that they do actually help with. Um, the CDC recommends that people still do washing your hands with soap and water, good old fashioned soap and water. Yep. If you do use hand sanitizer, make sure it's got at least a 60% alcohol con content in it, and it's not gonna be good for norovirus. So okay. that thing uh. that you get up, uh, yeah, for that stomach So like flu. if you're on the cruise, don't do the hand oh sanitizer. Oh my gosh, you already picked one of my, okay. Oh, well, the next okay, question okay, is, okay. what is the virus commonly found <laughs> on cruise ships? Oh, the <laughs> norovirus, the I was, I'm way ahead of you. <laughs> I you can't go. believe oh, that. I now, was gonna go with karaoke there on the cruise ships. <laughs> what game are you playing, Karaoke Tom? on cruise ships sure. will make everyone ill. <laughs> okay, I've that seen is, it happen. Okay, <laughs> that is definitely true. So Kim is winning right now. I am way ahead, I am way ahead thanks to your karaoke. Okay. All Are right. <laughs> yeah, so the next <laughs> illness is highly contagious and gets passed by coughing and sneezing commonly. Uh, or illnesses. I, I'll give you a hint there. How about that? Okay, I'm going with cold and flu. I'm going with cold, cold and flu. Cold and flu, yes. And so that's how they're a little bit different than those stomach flus, right? The stomach flus are primarily going to be coming from when you drink uh, water that's contaminated, have food that's contaminated. That's where you're likely to get the stomach flu. But all that cough and flu stuff is all airborne right now. So when you're coughing, here's a here's a pop question here. Um, what do you want to do if you're coughing and you're uh, if you're coughing right into your hand? No, you cough into your arm. Yeah, you can cough into your arm, or if I've you're going to cough. my elbow. Yeah. Oh, wash yeah. your hands yeah. right away then. Yeah. Wash your hands exactly instantly, because right. In then everything you touch, ugh. and it can stay on surfaces. So that's actually going to be the next question. How oh, long okay. can viruses stay on surfaces? Oh, I thought I heard. Uh, do we have an option like two to three weeks? Mm -hmm. So up to two to three weeks. Yeah. I was so gonna go with really probably yeah closer to two, but yeah, it definitely can stay on surfaces for a very long time. So think about all of those surfaces that you guys touch every single day if you're going to the airport. That's always a, fa a favorite place of mine to think about. Um, all of the people that have touched the surfaces before you. Touch so, nothing. Yes. <laughs> touch nothing. Touch <laughs> nothing. All right. We're gonna pass. The last one is antibiotics can be used to help treat the flu. Um. Or a cold. That oh. is 
No. False. It's a total no, lie. That False. is a total lie, and it is true. It oh, is and by not, going with <laughs> it is not total, true. <laughs> I get extra yes. points. Yes, there you go. So uh, antibiotics are only going to be good for any kind of bacterial illness that you have. So the flu, all of these viruses that we were just talking about are not going to, um, unfortunately, be treated by antibiotics. So Where, Where's my prize? So we have prizes for both of you guys because we, we give prizes to everyone. I think Kim wins for actually getting the most number of prizes. Yeah, right. Having right? correct, correct actually, answers. Actually, <laughs> Look, answering correct the me. questions that I was asking. So you get a Thank box you. of Kleenex. I always and just Tom gets a half-used bottle of hand sanitizer, but make sure you wash your hands instead. Yeah, and don't know because As who only touched the, the top? It's right. like Sick people have been touching this for months. <laughs> <laughs> this is yeah, there you go, right? <laughs> You're winning. That's what we call Favorite it. Favorite game show host? Do you have one? Gene uh, Raver? I'm going to have to go Bill with Cullen? good old Bob, Bob Barker. Bob Barker. Mm -hmm. Yeah, old school. Not Steve Harvey? He's pretty good. He's you <laughs> could have answered me, option. but anyway. Uh, or oh, me, yeah, Tom actually. did that, too. Oh, did you really? He's had a rich life. That's another story. Oh, next hey, week. Uh, Camilla, thanks as always. <laughs> I think I learned a lot, but I'm not sure. Karaoke is not good for your health on cruise ships is what I just learned.